All right, here we are back into the garage. Uh, it's finally starting to get warmer out, so I decided to do a little bit more work on uh, my vehicles. Um, if you want to check this out on my other channel, it's Lebo View, all one word, and there's a, a real long video explaining the whole uh, winch thing that I've got going on uh, for my truck. But anyways, I just wanted to put this on my personal channel uh, so if anybody wants to take a peek at something else that I was working on uh, other than mopeds or uh, the rocket stove, uh, you can take a look here. Anyways, um, this is what I've got going on. And I got it installed, finally painted. Um, it was installed before and I've used it. Um, again, if nobody knows, um, I do lawn and garden and I pull mowers or I push mowers up in here all the time. So. Now I got this little winch, it's real inexpensive, and uh, it, uh, it pulls the mowers for me. But um, it's sandwiched here. There's a plate, 3 16 inch plate on the back side, 3 16 inch here. Um, you can see where the rail is. The rail goes basically three quarters of this plate. And I have nut, big nuts welded onto this plate here. And it's uh, sandwiched in between the two with these three bolts, which um, do well um, and then uh, I'll go upside down here for a second you can see that's how the winch that's all it is, is a couple bolts that holds that little winch and the same thing on this side sandwiched in there um, my weld sucks but it holds let's flip around here again but anyways uh, I have eight foot ramps which you can kind of see in there that uh, um, I used to uh, hook up to the tailgate there and now I can pull the mowers up. Now I've already pulled one up um, with this little 1700 pound winch at an incline that's, oh I don't know, I guess that's uh, not quite three foot over eight foot uh, slope and uh, I did just fine. I pulled up a 92 simplicity glh i'm sorry ghl uh ghtl gthl <laughs> i can't remember now but it was one of those hydrostatic um with the hydraulic lift and uh i know that the mower run it was a twin cylinder it weighs 900 pounds without any attachments and then this one had a snow blower on the front of it um so it was over 900 pounds. The snowblower is probably 150, I guess, so um, uh, about a thousand pounds, and uh, it did just fine. Um, but anyways, that's what I was working on. Um, it's mounted. Uh, it works. The bed rails are fine. It doesn't pull on them too much. I mean, I pulled, like I said, a thousand pounds, and it didn't do anything at all to the the rails. It didn't pull them in or bow them or creak or make any weird noises or. So, if you're planning on trying something like this, go right ahead. Um, now I'm into another project, which I'm getting ready to do a video on. If you want to uh, check that out, it's going to be on a, a hitch issue. Thanks.